Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are going to take a look at the CI.Android version 12 which is based on Android 16. Now this ROM uses Lineage OS 23 as its base so you get all the Lineage OS stuff and Android 16 features with a lot of customization. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is CI Android and Android ROM and this is the version 12 which is based on Android 16. Now CI Android is a very old custom ROM project and has a lot of, uh, you know, fans or, you know, a lot of users throughout the world. And this is the version 12, which is based on Lineage OS 23, ultimately based on Android 16. So you can see Android 16 going inside. We have the CI Android logo in Android version. We have uh, CI Android 12 beta. And this is a very older GSI build. Uh, we have July 2025 security patch. You can see the GSI build number. It says uh, 2nd August this was built on. That's why it has the July security patch. And we also do have the Kronos kernel for S7 built in, which has helped uh, fixing a lot of bugs related to uh, the hardware stuff. And it has a great performance on our uh, GSI based ROMs, which helped us boot Android 16 based GSIs on the Galaxy S7 with the help of vendor, which has been uh, done by ILIM. So thanks to him. Also, thanks to Dozo for the GSI and 16 GSIs. There are a lot of GSIs and we will get a lot of them ported to our S7. So I'm going to make separate videos on that. So if you want to see all that, subscribe to the channel and also do like and dislike this video. Your feedback is really important. Now let's move towards exploring the CI Android settings and all the basic features we get with the CI Android Android ROM. So guys, at first we are going to take a look at all the settings, all the basic settings we get from Lineage OS. I have already made a separate video. If you want to explore all the settings, all the basic stuff, you can check out that video. It's linked in the I button. You can see that in here. Uh, it's linked here. So you can check that out. Now let's move into settings. And this is how the settings UI look. Really Android 16 and gets all those colors. We have CI Android settings as your mm -hmm. different, which we are going to explore later. And we have notification display modes, all the Android 16 settings here. Let's take a look at uh, them one by one. Network and internet, you can also configure. If you have a SIM, just mobile data, everything works fine. VLT won't work because this is a ASP GSI. And obviously ASP, like uh, VLT is really hard on Samsung phones. This CI Android settings, sorry. Uh, we're gonna explore that later. Uh, these are notifications. All of these settings are present in the Lineage OS which has been used as a base. So it's not something kind of a different story, although we have extra settings uh, in the CI Android settings, which obviously makes it different. And a lot of improvements, which they have made, the team has made. We have dark theme, we have pure black theme, which I have uh, applied. Then if I disable this, this is the basic dark theme, which you'll get, but I prefer pure black because this is a AMOLED device. And we have live display, colors, all the stuff from Lineage is here. Peak refresh rate. We have to set this to 59, obviously, because ours is a device uh, which has only 60 hertz of uh, display. Tap to wake does not work. Let me try. Yep, it does not work. Even if you uh, enable it from uh, treble settings, it won't work. You can also disable blurs to get some additional performance. Sorry about this. And wallpaper in style, you can check out wallpapers. We have all the Lineage OS basic wallpapers too. So yeah, you can change clock styles and you can change wallpapers. See, get all this. Uh... Oh, we don't have Lineage OS wallpaper, sorry. We have this, just one uh, single, uh... we have storage and you can configure, you can see. We have the same UI. We have battery, battery manager, battery stats, info, and uh, system stuff which has all the uh, gestures, navigation mode. You can see, you can configure a lot of stuff. We have all this uh, display gestures, quick tap, all that screenshot, device diagnostic, micro G settings. Also, this ROM comes with micro G, so you don't have to worry about if you are using Play Store, obviously you can skip this ROM, but yes, uh, this comes with micro G. Uh, if you can see the app drawer, it has the micro G settings we have f droid as the app store and i have also installed aurora store to get more of such apps from uh, play store it's a play store client you can easily get it from the uh, f droid which is really really easy and these are all the basic settings now let's go towards this the android setting so guys the c android settings really simple it says open goodness and let's open the goodness 
it has a lot of features lot of tabs you can swipe through them and you explore all the features which you can see now let's take a look at them one by one and see what all they have so first uh, we have the status bar 10% mm, battery let's uh, quickly finish it up so we have status bar icons clock style uh, clock and date network traffic monitor in status bar icons we do get a vlt icon but obviously our device won't have that support on aosp rom so yep we have 4g icon instead of lte we have uh, wi-fi standard mic and all that indicators privacy indicator we have colored icons notification count we have crdroid logo as well uh, if you can see in the top uh, left uh, status bar you can also change its position you can keep it to right so it will get switched here onto the right side of the battery as you can see in the extreme right has has been switched but it looks great on the left so i'm just keeping it to the left we have also logo styles which you can add we have batman captain america nike fire heart a lot of logos which you can choose from i like to keep c edward as my uh just uh, stock one basic one battery style we have battery styles we have basic battery styles in lineage we get three kind of battery styles which is circle uh i guess a dotted circle and text uh, that these are all like two three battery icons maybe icon uh circle we do get and we don't get dotted circle i am not sure if we do get but yeah you can check out lineage as a video for that and you can also keep it hidden and we also have battery percentage while charging we have battery bar brightness control and padding status bar padding, padding if you want to keep your icons you know give it a bit of space from the corners you can do that you have header image and you can choose a static image or all the image collection which will enable it in here you can choose header image collection as forest it will randomly uh give you some header images so you can see okay this is the one right now let's open it afterwards unlocking it will give you randomly it has this uh you know uh, counter which will reset uh, the option i don't know on header image here the battery style you can follow status bar style or you can also set a different style so dotted circle on the quick settings here you can see we have a dotted circle in the quick settings if you guys can notice it yeah the battery is low that's why it is not visible properly but yes we have bluetooth uh, oops it's not swiping left yeah bluetooth tile dialog which will show you bluetooth dialog on toggle but uh, yeah so it's for the bluetooth tile which you can click and set it so that's why we have career name we have battery info smart space on the lock screen weather info you can also enable that i don't want it right now we have click to pass a screenshot in buttons we have power menu we have advanced restart down here secure lock screen you can disable this for safety reasons and we have end call, long press, wake device, answer call for the volume buttons and all that stuff. We have user interface customization. We have ambient display, but ambient display AOD does not work in this ROM. So please avoid using it or your device will freeze and you will have to do a force reboot and then again disable the AOD. So yeah, screen off animation. We have CRT, uh, which is a really nice animation. I really love to set this, uh, it con converts your device into vintage TV animation and uh, monet settings we have nav bar style and you can see a lot of them to choose from which we see in a lot of devices we have font style and we do have a lot of fonts that's a big long list an icon pack you can change icons you can see a lot of them signal icon you can individually change all these icons signal wi-fi we have icon shapes floating state button uh floating rotate button uh, which you can uh, easily rotate your device from. You can also disable that if you don't like it. We have uh, clipboard overlay. We have uh, this notifications, heads up notification. You can also choose to it to be less boring or you can easily disable that too. And we have blink flashlight for incoming call, battery light and notification light. We have sound options, pulse, which is a great option here. Ambient pulse, but ambient display doesn't work. You can also choose from blocks or lines turn on smoothing you can choose the color you can also check the speed and here we have solid lines mode we are, you can set it to rounded corners you can control opacity the lines count and the sanity level which is a really nice option it, it gives a device a great look if you're listening to music in here 
we have vibration options so in call vibrations we have volume panel on the left so right now it's on right let's turn it on and it switched to left which is for our galaxy s7 we have volume panel haptics so if we change uh, we don't have haptics in here i don't know why but yeah it doesn't work maybe game space we have we have unlock higher fps we have netflix spoof we can also use a sidebar, three finger swipe for screenshot, sensor block per package. You can block sensors uh, as per your apps and pocket detection, which is a really nice feature. And this is about CR Android, which gives you a brief info about the newer changelog, official website. And we have a lot of stuff about the community, the, the survey and all. If you have, want to also support for translations, if you want to contribute, you can use this and you can also contribute transitions in your language so this is really nice initiative by the team a lot of people in the custom rooms they have this and that's a great thing because if there are any new languages and if you want to use it in your device you can give them translations you can contribute and that's a great idea to do that so that was it all for the c Android settings and guys about all the working stuff we have the same vendor same kernel so all the stuff which has been working in lineage os and previously what i did project infinity x which will work here about the brightness fix now as you can see i have i am rooted right now and you can use the m twix which is a fix for the brightness okay so the magis cap is not opening okay i have never used like from installation of this rom i never used magis i use it for m twix to control the brightness like set it to a medium level so which you can properly use brightness through the m twix app which will let us control it but right now we can also use it directly from treble it's a fix uh, not a fix but yeah it's a workaround or you can call it so first you have to move into samsung settings go down here we can see set backlight uh, volume uh, sorry not scale max uh, backlight levels uh, so you have to set this and you have to set this amount here you can see this value you have to set so set this value press ok now your brightness level will uh, differ or if, if not you have to reboot the device then you will have uh, this kind of brightness this is the default brightness you get on all levels if you set it now you have to turn on extra dim and go in here and you can control the intensity so this is how you control the brightness so this is a workaround kind of uh, thing uh, right now if you are using uh, GSI based port ROMs so this is a workaround you can use this to control the brightness of your device and also other stuff like camera Wi-Fi everything works fine I have not tested Bluetooth audio yet but I guess Bluetooth works but Bluetooth audio I'm not sure if it works right now I don't have a device to connect I have earbuds but right now I cannot connect them was it with someone else so yep that was it for all the options settings with the CR Droid ROM Android and all the working stuff. This ROM is good, but it's the GSI is a bit old, so maybe wait for a newer version. But if you want CR Droid badly, then you can surely use this ROM. There are no issues. You can use this without root, with root. And this is strictly micro G. So I'm not sure if there is any way you can uh, you know disable or remove micro G totally. You also have Play Store services which you can, you know, enable and spoof your device uh, to properly you know use the play services and all that and you can use auto roster if you don't want to use play store which is also okay and not kind of something that you are really used or forced to install google apps you can use any apps without google services so that's the kind of service micro g provides so that is it this is the c android android obviously it comes with micro g so play store users you can use aurora store and I have used the Aurora store before, so you can also use that, install play apps, your favorite games, which uh, you have in your Play Store. Uh, so yeah, it's a requesting session, kind of. It's based on, I guess it is based on the repos and all that. So yeah, you have all these apps, you can search any app, you have games, you can search a lot of games. It has top charts, category wise. So it's not an issue installing games and apps on this device if you are using MicroG. And that's it guys for the video for the C Android Android version 12 based on Android 16. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. And put your feedbacks, all the comments for help, anything 
in the comment section and take care guys see you soon till then you can stay subscribed and stay tuned for new videos on the s7 bye bye guys see you soon